All right, man. The Pittsburgh Steelers obviously think that they're contenders. They think they can go out and win something this year. So what they do? They went out before the trade deadline and added Mike Williams to the receiver room to give Russell Wilson more weapons to throw to. Mike Williams is a guy that is a bit older, but to be honest with you, he wasn't being used in the correct way on the Jets, and I do think we're going to see him play a lot better on the Steelers, especially with what I've seen him do so far this year, and that's why I'm making this video. I wanted to jump into his film, show you what he's been able to do so far, and show you how he's going to help out the Steelers. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So on the first play right here, it's pretty simple. You got Mike Williams lined up right here in the slot. You're going to get somebody motioned across, as we can see. <clears throat> get the motion coming across. And what you're going to see happen is the Broncos on this side of the field are going to drop into some type of cover three look with the corner and a deep third, the safety in a deep third, and then also this linebacker coming out in the flat. And what you're going to see Mike Williams do right here is you're going to see him run a seam and if you know anything about beating cover three, you know that seam routes kill it if you're able to hit the throw in the right window. And that's what Aaron Rodgers is going to try to do right here. But what I love from Mike Williams is he gets out, gets in his seam, and right when he sees this linebacker extending to the flat, he gets his eyes around because he knows the ball is probably coming. He sees cover three just like Rodgers sees cover three. And that allows this throw to be on the money and Mike Williams is expecting it. Boom, his eyes are around. Rodgers rips it. Mike Williams catches it on his back shoulder away from the safety, protects that football, secure catches it, and even though he gets kind of hit a little hard, he still is able to hold onto that football for a huge, huge gain. So watch from this angle right here. You're going to see Mike Williams be able to catch this football while taking a big hit. Rodgers, rip it, boom, hold onto the football, take a hit, get up, take your big gain. This is huge, huge stuff. I know he's open here. But what I really like to see is that Mike Williams is diagnosing the coverage just like Rodgers. He's getting his eyes around fast. And if he can do this type of stuff, he's going to help Russell Wilson out. I think Russell Wilson will like throwing to a big-bodied veteran like this. He's kind of similar to George Pickens with a little bit less athleticism at this point in his career. And I think we're going to see him be used in the same way. you got two big-bodied receivers now. And then you also got a speedy guy in Calvin Austin, which is really going to allow you to mix things up and run a kind of diverse offense, and I really like that. Now, on this next play here, this is once again just another outstanding play by Mike Williams. I'm not exactly sure why the Jets didn't use him more after seeing him make plays like this right here. All Mike Williams is running is a little go, so he's getting up the sideline here, and the Broncos are in a cover two look. So they got this safety over the top, and they got this corner in a flat. So Mike Williams running this go means if Rodgers wants to throw this, he will have a small little honey hole to fit that into, he has to put that ball in there, and then Mike Williams is going to have to make a catch on the sideline while taking a hit. So watch it right here. You're going to see up on the top of the screen, he runs his go. You see this corner get in the flat. He lets Mike Williams run behind him, and then you have the safety over the top. Mike Williams already has his eyes around, expecting that football, trusting that the quarterback is going to get it to him. And right when Rodgers releases that football, it's right over the corner's head, right in between the safety. And not only is he able to catch this football while taking a hit, but he's also able to get his feet down for another huge, huge gain. Just a great job overall. So watch it from this angle right here. Rodgers sets back, lets that ball rip. Boom, Mike Williams has to extend up and out to reach that football, then bring his toes back to the turf, drag those toes, and then also take a hit, hold onto the football, and do all of those things at the exact same time, which is just absolutely unbelievable. So watch it in slow motion right here. You'll be able to see it really good. Rodgers gets that ball out, high point it, toes down, take a hit. Just an outstanding job for a huge, huge gain. Next play here, we're going to see Mike Williams do another great job. Veteran move. I like to see it from him. All he's running is a deep dig route, and he is the back route on this concept. So all he's trying to do is get across the field, and if Rodgers somehow finds his way all the way back to Mike Williams, he wants to be ready for that football. A lot of times you will see receivers not even run their route when they're the last read like this. But Mike Williams does run. He gets out of his break. And then he gets his eyes in the backfield. And what he sees happening is that Aaron Rodgers has a pocket collapsing around him. And it looks like he might be taking a sack. But he doesn't stop. He keeps running. And what he ends up doing 
is seeing Rodgers get out of that pocket, extending out this way, and then what does he do? He keeps running with him, keeps running with him, stay in line with where Rodgers' vision is at so you can come into his vision, and that allows Rodgers to see him down the field and deliver him a wide-open football for another huge gain, takes a hit, holds onto the football, just another great job. So watch it from this angle right here. You're going to see Rodgers in this pocket, and you're going to see it collapse on him. He does a good. Rodgers does a good job getting out here, keeping his eyes downfield. But Mike Williams keeps running, stays in Rodgers' vision, and that allows for a big chunk. And I think we'll see Mike Williams be pretty good in scramble drill for Russell Wilson as well. Now, when it comes to these last two plays here, I really wanted to show Mike Williams still being able to win in man coverage at this point in his career because I feel like people think he can't do that anymore, but right here, he's going to show that he can. So all the Patriots are running right here is man coverage, obviously. One-on-one, -on -one, Mike Williams and this guy right here. And what you're going to see him run is a little stutter slant. So he's going to come out, stutter, 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 boom, cut it across his face, trying to get open. The Jets have him lined up single side by himself. I think the Steelers will be able to do this if they want to, but if they want George Pickens on this side, he can also play the other side. He can also play in the slot if you want him to, wherever you want him to play at. But this right here shows that he still can be a true X receiver if you want him to, and just watch this play play out. So he's running that stutter slant, like I said. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Boom, get off the line. Stick, and easy separation. Nothing crazy. Doesn't do anything extra, but gets a huge gain because he's able to get some separation off the corner. So I want you to watch it right here in slow motion. Watch and wrap, uh, Roger snaps his football. Give a little stutter. Quick stick, get out of your break. Rogers hits you. Nice 10-yard, 11-yard gain on a simple slant. Easy way to beat man coverage. You want a receiver that can beat man like this because it's going to open up your offense a lot. And that's what I think Mike, t Mike Williams brings to the table. Now, on this next play here, you're going to have Mike Williams once again in straight man coverage with this safety spin over the top. So you got one-on-one -on -one with, with this guy right here. And this is mainly what Mike Williams is known for. He's just going to run a simple fade route, and Aaron Rodgers is going to throw it up to him and let his guy make a play. So watch it right here. It's really simple. This is what Russell Wilson likes to do to George Pickens, and I think he'll like to do it with Mike Williams as well. Get a little stutter go. You got even, so Rodgers is going to put it a little bit back shoulder. Mike Williams is going to have to adjust to this on the run, and he does that with ease, goes up. Rodgers actually leaves this inside a little much, but Mike Williams is able to fight back to the ball and go up and get it, and it leads to a huge gain. This is just an outstanding job. And this is stuff that I'm talking about that he can still do. He just hadn't really been asked to do it much this year, and that's why his production isn't very high. But look at that. Jumping inside over the top of the corner, making a great catch. Just an outstanding job. So while, yes, he might not be as athletic as he used to be, he still brings a lot to the table, and I really do think he's going to come in and give the Steelers a great option to throw to. And I do think that it's going to open up the offense more than it's already opened up since Russell Wilson's got back. And that's going to make this Steelers team pretty damn good.